In a landmark development, Ford Defense Aviation, Lockheed Martin, and Tata Advanced Systems, a subsidiary of the Tata Group, have announced a significant partnership. Aimed at bolstering the infrastructure supporting India's C-130J Super Hercules, medium transport aircraft fleet. This collaboration involves two primary goals, establishing a dedicated C-130J maintenance, repair, and overhaul MRO hub in India, and expanding local production capabilities. To manufacture and assemble more C-130J units for the Indian Air Force, pending approval from both the U.S. and Indian governments. The proposed MRO hub will not only enhance the maintenance and support services for the C-130J fleet, but also potentially position India as a key player in the global supply chain for this platform. This move reflects a growing trend in the Indian defense sector, where the nation is leveraging its industrial capabilities to support and enhance its military assets. The initiative builds on the successful establishment of a Tata Airbus C295 aircraft line in Gujarat. The delivery of the first Indian-built C295 this year marks a milestone in India's defense manufacturing journey. With a total of 56 C295 set to replace the Indian Air Force's aging fleet of Avro HS-748 transports, this success provides a strong precedent for the new C-130 JMRO and manufacturing venture. India's ongoing commitment to the MTA model underscores its strategic approach to defense procurement. Should the government select the C-130J for its MTA program, the IEF will benefit from an established global supply chain, with India poised to become a leading manufacturing hub for the C-130J. The decision is also reflective of broader regional dynamics with Egypt recently committing to acquire two additional Super Hercules aircraft, with an option for 10 more subject to U.S. State Department approval. This regional commitment highlights the enduring value of the C-130J platform in maintaining robust airlift capabilities. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section.